everyone, welcome back to my channel, Charlene May. It is Char here, and today I will be showing you one of the best dim sum places in San Francisco. Good luck, dim sum. If you're interested in seeing what I get from there, please continue watching. dim sum is just like one of the best places to get dim sum in san francisco because it is so cheap it is cash only so that's when you know it's gonna be cheap and the food there is just so amazing you always see like a line but today i went on a monday around 8 a.m so there wasn't any line i was like the second person and they told me to come in and that has never happened so a good luck dim sum i spent 23 dollars and i know that's a lot but i wanted to show you everything that i love getting a good luck dim sum i usually spend like under ten dollars but today it is a mukbang in the car so i'm gonna show you so the first thing i got is kanji and this has preserved egg in it and pork i think and this is like my favorite thing I, every time i go get dim sum i always get this i call it joke i'm probably saying that wrong but in cantonese we call it joke you have you probably have some type of porridge in your culture this is just my favorite because i love preserved egg i know that sounds weird but preserved egg is that girl. Don't forget to ask for the sides of soy sauce. This is like sweeter soy sauce and then like chili. This is like must needed when you're eating dim sum because the sauces matter, okay? And then I got like this bread. I don't know what it's called, but I just I just point usually. And this goes with the kanji and together is so good. So good, okay? This bread is just so airy, so yummy. I'll just take it out so you can see it. Do you see that ASMR? Look how good that is. So crispy. I can't wait to eat it. In here, I got my one of my favorite things. Oh, showing you this food is just so hard because I want to eat it all. So th this is um the pork spare ribs. Oh, you know what I'm talking about when you get this in like the steam container when you're out of dinner. So I love the spare ribs, okay? I usually don't get this, but I got it today because I actually really like it. But it's like the sticky rice inside of this leaf. OMG. It has like pork and it's just so good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. And it's just like kept warm in this leaf and it's so good. It's like sticky rice too. Yum. I can't wait to eat this. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy. I love food so much. As you can see, I love it. This is the done thought. This is the egg custard and I love this. This is like my favorite thing to end off my dim sum binge. Um, it's just sweet. I love egg custard stuff, so good. We have the rice roll. I think it has shrimp in it and like green onions. And then this is the pork shumai. And this is the hog out, which is shrimp dumplings. Okay, I think that's all I got. Yeah, I'm done, I am done. It is now time to freaking eat, okay? Let's see, let's start off with the good old i'm gonna get my sauce and i always start off with my um hog out because that's my it's actually my favorite i would like you know in like preschool a lot of people would like crave like peanut butter jelly sandwiches no i craved hog out and shumai i asked for it okay let's see where my fork is right so i'm gonna go in on this <laughs> i'm so happy mm. Mmm. Oh my god. Don't get their soy sauce because, like, it's sweeter and it goes so much better with their um, stuff. Look at that. I love shrimp. Mmm. Mm hmm. I'm just so happy. Wow. Oh, this is the first thing I ate today, too. I didn't even have dim I coffee. I went straight to dim sum. Okay, now I'm gonna have. The shumai. These are like the classics. If you've been to dim sum and you're not even Chinese, you've probably gotten these. Okay. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. That is good. Mmm. You can never go wrong with ordering this. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna go in on like this rice roll right here. Oh, I just love the doughiness. Oh, yes. Mmm. 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 
so good. I'm gonna go in on the bar, I mean the barbecue spare ribs. I wish, um, nope. Um, these are the spare ribs, the pork spare ribs. Oh, so good. Be careful because some of them have bones on them, but they're parent bones, so. And it has black bean on it, oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Oh my god, look how good that is okay that is protein just protein i feel so blessed and happy to be able to eat this food i'm gonna give some to max because i can't finish all this mm. Mm -hmm. you know, are we good with this my sticky rice i'm gonna eat it Oh yeah. Look underneath, that is a Chinese sausage. Oh my God. I love Chinese food, dude. Chinese food is the best. Mmm. Mmm. You really get the flavor of like the leaf. So good. This is the Chinese sausage in it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I am a sucker for a Chinese sausage. When I was young, a meal would be me boiling Chinese sausage, eating it with, over white rice and like soy sauce. Oh, and, and you know, if I wasn't lazy, I'd cook eggs on the side. I cook egg on the side too. Also, some chicken. Okay. Mmm. 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 That chicken is like gingery. Wow. This is like so good. This is a meal. This is a meal. Mmm. I'm gonna mix it with this. Mix it with the spare rib. So good. There's a family watching me eat right next to me. <laughs> and Robbie was like, what is this girl doing? I'm enjoying life and eating. That's what I'm doing. Mmm. This is a really good way to start a Monday. I'm gonna be tired though. I'm gonna be so tired from eating all this food. Oh well. It's worth it. Mm. I'm so happy. This is just like soul food. Like this just like feels like home. Rice is so good. I'm not even gonna need lunch. Like. Whenever I eat dim sum on a Sunday morning with my family, like, that's breakfast and lunch. I do not need to eat lunch. Mmm. <laughs> I can't stop eating this. This is so good. Especially with the spare rib. Oh my god. This is like the star right now. Mmm. Nothing short of flavor here. Okay. Also has like, I think that's pork some pork in it so if you're a meat lover for sure get this this is so freaking good okay mmm mmm so good but I must put it away because I have more food to go through so unfortunately I don't have a spoon but I have a fork which will do so with my jok I'm gonna open it I'm scared that's gonna overflow but if it does oh well Okay, look at this glorious porridge, okay? And this is the preserved egg I was like talking about that I love. It's like a gelatiny type of egg. It's just so good, like the taste, amazing. Okay, and what I like to do is, I don't know if this is like against the rules, but I like to put a little bit of soy sauce on the top of it to make it a little bit more flavorful, but on its own is fine. I just like to do this personally, so I just take a little bit and I drizzle a bit on top like that a little goes a long way with soy sauce okay and then you're just gonna mix it oh yum oh my god I'm so excited this is my favorite thing to get because I just love soup like I love pho I love like soup I love ramen it just feels so good in the stomach okay it's not that hot anymore mmm Oh my god, that egg. Oh my god, if you love egg, you're gonna love this. Mm hmm. Mm. And the meat in there is there. You don't skimp you on that, which I enjoy. 
Mm. Warms you up. That is just so good. That is just so good. Mm -hmm. If you go to dim sum, do not shy away from getting the soup. I know it looks like, you know, plain, like, why would I get it? But it's just such a good, like, thing to get on the side when you're eating the dumplings and stuff. This is it. Okay, this is it. This is so good. Mm. I love starting out my dim sum by eating this. I know I eat it last, but the hog owl was calling my name. Mm. And it's really easy to make at home too. Use chicken, uncooked rice, chicken broth, ginger. I made it, but it will never be as good as this one. <laughs> it will never be good as good as good luck dim sums. Mm -hmm. So good. Now we must eat it with the bread. Okay, we must eat it with this. So this is the bread. Okay, this nice golden bread. And then we're gonna piece it off. You hear that? Crunchy, country, country. Um, and this is what it looks like. Oh, so good. Let me just eat it on its own. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Oh, it's so good. So good. Mmm. I can just eat it on its own, honestly. So I'm just gonna dip in the soup. And it's like the best thing ever. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm just so happy. Honestly, this makes you want to, like, sit back and just really think about all the things you're grateful for in life. It's so good. Mm-hmm. So good. Your girl is so poor right now. It's a lot of food for $23. <clears throat> so we're gonna end this video with my best friend here. Their name is Don Tot, okay? This egg custard, like, are you kidding me? Look, look at that. Look at it, look at it. Okay, I'm excited to eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna get crumbs all over this car. Sorry, Max, I will clean it, I promise, but this is so good. <laughs> I can't wait to, oh my god, look, it's like so flaky. Uh, mm. This pastry is one of the best pastries you will ever get. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. I thought I was full and then I ate this and I realized I had room for this. Mmm. It does leave you having like crumbs on your mouth. So sorry if I look a little crusty. I've had Portuguese egg tarts too. So good. I just love egg custard, egg tarts. So good. I love the egginess. I just love eggs. So dessert and, e and eggs just go well together. Okay, everyone. I am done eating all the yummy food from Good Like Dim Sum. And if you're looking for a place to get really cheap and really good quality dim sum in this city, please check out Good Like Dim Sum. It is like a must do in San Francisco. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment down any ideas you'd like me to do on my next videos. And please subscribe to Charlene May, my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.